But speaking of demonic possessions, uh, let's talk about relationships in today's society. So <laughs> I believe that you've been in a relationship for about eight to nine months now. Yeah. And before that, you were single for about four years. Yeah. Yeah. So was that a personal choice or was it something that you saw in today's society where it was hard for you to find a man with the qualities of a proper Christian, conservative values, right principles, morals, ethics, or was it just something you were like, no, I'm not ready for a relationship. There's plenty of guys out there. I just don't want anything right now. Um, no, I mean, I was definitely dating. Um, I, I had, you know, like I was dating in Catholic world and Orthodox world and evangelical, just like good Christian guys. And a lot of them would have been like amazing boyfriends or future husbands. Um, but I just never felt like the confirmation from God that this was my person and mm. that this was who God had for me. So, um, yeah, single by choice. And because I really just wanted to be with who the Lord had for me. And another thing is, is honestly, as much as I loved, I'm like a girl's girl in this aspect, to be honest. I like, you know, I think it's fun to go on dates. I think people take dating way too seriously, by the way, in the beginning. Like, I think it's okay to just have a cup of coffee with somebody or go to dinner with somebody and just see if you even get along. Sure. See if there's even potential for there to be something more serious before we start, you know, figuring out like, well, when do you want to get married? You know? Yeah. So it's okay to get to know someone. Sure. Um, so I always had fun in that regard, but really, I just was like really focused on what I was doing. And, um, I just wanted to, I was never in a rush to be in a relationship or get married. And okay. I think that a lot of times, for both men and women, there's like this sense of urgency and scarcity mindset that if I don't find someone now, I'm going to be single forever. Um, and that's just simply not true. And I think it has a negative effect on our dating and our outlook. Yeah. Well, this isn't the whatever podcast, which you were on <laughs> and also fresh and fit. So I'm not going to yeah. get into all of that controversial things, <laughs> but I'm just curious, what are the most important aspects of finding a significant other? Is it same religion, political views, morals and values. What is like a good Christian woman in today's society supposed to look for in a man, especially people in their 20s, late teens? I think you need to first and foremost find somebody who believes in God and who um, who puts God first in their life. Mm. Um, the second thing is I, I think that that's, you know, I wish it was enough, but unfortunately it's not because a lot of people are Christian or they're from the same, you know, um, you may maybe they're Catholic and you're Catholic or you're you're both Orthodox. Um, but that doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to be a good partner for you. I think right. you need to find somebody who understands, first of all, has a hard line on the same things that you have a hard line on, um, who has the same morals and values as you, who has a, who's principled and who's not going to waver in their principles by, you know, just the feelings of the day. And I also think it's very important to find somebody who puts God first and your relationship and um, you second before themselves. Mm. So the order should be God, your partner, their partner or their spouse, and then themselves. And if you don't find somebody who can at least check those boxes, it's going to be really difficult. There's a person that I look up to. His name's George Janko, and he tells a story about when he was a kid, his mom would ask him, who does he love the most and he would say you mom and he she goes no it's lo the lord first then me second yeah totally. so that i always kept that story in mind and then there's another uh preacher his name is marmati emmanuel i'm sure you've seen him on social media this guy's super popular he's an assyrian uh priest and he says uh the number one thing you should look for in a woman is her love for jesus yeah that totally. is the only thing 